All right, so let's do some quick sketch. So again, boom, shoulders, face. All right, starting to look like a stick figure, right? But the important part of this stage is get that expression, get that suspense, right? Maybe even put very small marks because these are all probably in the wrong place, but I just want that, that sense of suspense. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna redo that last one. All right, so I got my my basic right, and then of course that bow is really important. So that hand, I'm gonna bring that arm up more in front of her body, because that's what makes it really defensive. And then of course I'm gonna get really a lot of expression out of that hand. All right, so big to small, big to small. Chin's gonna come down here. Okay. And then bam, that crazy hair. Which cause she's really moving. I want to, I want to get that sense of movement. I'm trying to capture the essence of this drawing. Alright. And now I'm gonna start to add some forms. So this is her. Boom, and then Let's get some let's really get that ex the expression in there. This is a quick sketch, so I don't I'm not too worried about being correct. I want it to just feel right. Right. Oh, and this is another important thing about quick sketch. Try to capture the image in as few lines as possible. If a line is not important, then don't draw it only the fewest, you want to draw in as few lines as possible, but to make it make sense, the most amount of sense as possible. And I'm breaking my own rule there. Actually, I try not to erase when I'm quick sketching, but I'm not really warmed up here. But if I were to do about 10 of these in a row, then it wouldn't be too big a deal. I also draw a lot faster when I'm not using digital, but because I'm using digital, as I'm a little slow. I try to get that expression. Okay? Try to get that, capture that suspense. And then her shoulder is dipping down. And then she's drawing, trying to draw, she's going to be drawing another arrow soon. So I'm going to, this is of course important. So basic shapes, right? A square for her hand. A moving, uh, I don't know, I'll have to give another lesson on this later on. But this, this shape right here, when you do like this, this follows into that, so it creates movement. Do you guys see that? So that's what this second arm back here is causing. And like this here, this sweeps up into here, and then this sweeps down, and then you have this really beautiful gesture on that hand. So I'm gonna try to capture that. And then of course this is underneath. And you want as much contrast as possible, so that's why I'm drawing this the forearm, the, the one that's in the foreground really big, and the one in the background really small, and that gives me this really great sense of depth perspective perception. Okay? And then, you know, it's not really Merida unless it's got that hair, right? So I am gonna go a little bit, I'm gonna add just a little bit of So when people see it, they know, oh yeah, that's Merida. This quick sketch, right? So I'm not trying to get details right. I'm just trying to get a, a capture the essence. And again, this is quick sketch, so it should be quick. It shouldn't take that long. This is a little bit more advanced drawing technique, kind of like the movement. I'm going to have one long line on one side of the body, and then this shorter one on the other side. And what that does is that creates movement, right? So this is following along that original gesture line. And then, of course, I never did draw the bow. Another mistake. But it's not too late. And it's going to follow the, the angle. Her angle of her body is leading, leading forward. Here's the top of her. So this is leaning forward, right? That's like a, what, another, I don't know what degree that is. But you can see that that line is not straight up and down, right? If you were to draw this drawing and her body is straight up and down, then that would be wrong. Because if it's straight up and down, it's not going to look like she's moving. But she's fighting a bear or something, so she's definitely moving in this drawing.
okay. So the drawing's starting to make sense, right? Well, it doesn't make any sense because I don't have a bow. But once I get a bow in there, then it starts to make sense. Okay, and the last thing I want to say about quick sketch, don't use little lines. Use big, long, sweeping lines. Okay? This was the, one of the biggest things uh, Ms., Mrs. Uh, Marjan used to get onto us about all the time. It's because she would see people, you know, like they draw the edge of the head and they draw like this, right? She said, don't do that. Just do one big sweeping line. It's so much faster, so much more efficient, right? Bam. So just draw all the way across the entire drawing. Bam. Bam. Right? Just, and then do, draw boldly. One thing that we practice the most is we draw over and over and over again. You start to become very confident about your lines. You're not sitting there trying to figure out where it should be. You just, you know where it should be, and you draw it. And of course, if I want to add a little structure, right, try to get a sense of where that lighting should be. Then I have to draw the 3D forms. Okay, but this is more of a deep, this is not really quick sketch, okay? Quick sketch, you don't need to worry about that. But in a more detailed drawing, you would definitely want to draw the 3D structures that are going on here, right? I'm kind of ruining the drawing now by adding too many lines. But once you've done, that's it. You just move on to the next one, okay? So we'll do maybe one more example, one that's not a character, actually. We'll do more of like a a cityscape or something, okay? Or maybe we'll do some Japanese art or something. I'll, I'll come up with something and we'll do another example, okay?